it bothered me how much how how much I was eating. Like I was eating too much. Now I'm eating too little. And I just like stopped feeling hungry. I was absolutely starving today, this morning. I was so excited. I finally hit my weight loss goal of 165 pounds. And then I, I told myself like, okay, I'm ready to just eat however much I want now, regardless of the, of the calorie count. But I still like, I can't bring myself to eat anymore. I like, I feel full. I have, I'm, I finally have the opposite problem for the first time in my life. The problem where like, I'm having trouble eating. I. My friends used to say that to me, like, some of my, like, really small friends would be like, I'm trying to bulk, but, like, I can't bring myself to eat that, like, more than 2,000 calories, and I'd, I'd almost, like, make fun of them for it. Not in a mean way. But I'd just be like, I, I wish. I wish that was me. Now that's me, and it's painful! We hit 165 pounds earlier, my weight loss goal, from 175, and now we're 163, and, like, it's, like, out of food, like, seeming kind of gross. So I, I'm pretty sure it's like the unhealthy kind of weight loss now. I'm kind of worried. You know how much people want your problem? I know! When I had the, uh, the opposite problem, when I was fat, I kept on wishing, like, I wish I could have problems eating enough food. It's the very first world problem to have. Exercise solves that. We should try again. I wouldn't mind doing exercise again. We could play some DDR. You were fat? I was very fat. Well, not like super fat. I was moderately fat. I was like a hundred, I was a hundred and like, no, I think I was 200 pounds. 200 pounds when I was like 15, 14. Wait, is that right? All I know is I was about 20 pounds overweight. I don't know what my normal weight was, what I would consider normal. I remember like it was really demoralizing. I'd get my physical every year and they have like a chart that the doctor would show me. She's like, uh, this is here, here's like the normal weight range. Wait, oh, one second, one second. Uh, you guys ever see the graph that kind of looks like this? So the doctor's like, um, age, weight. The doctor tells you, like, uh, here's, like, the ideal weight or something like that. We'll mark the ideal weight in green. And then we'll mark, and then this is like, within, within these boundaries is healthy. Right, you ever, you ever see like one of those things? And then, I remember, I, I saw this chart when I was 14, it really inspired me to lose weight. But basically, I was like this. Uh, let's use, let's use black to mark me. I was like this. Like that. And then this is this is me at 14. And this is me at like age 7. Uh, it was a bit more extreme than that actually. It was more like... It was like up there. It was pretty far out of the range. And I looked at it when I was 14 I was like, Oh fuck me, that, this isn't good. This isn't normal, huh? The Cute. That was one of the things that really, really got me into eventually trying to lose weight. Did it flash towards us? What? At least Thresh got the kill, but... Man, if that Oriana flash healed towards us, he was she was fine. Yeah. I was farming them yesterday. Any deaths? Uh, 
Oh. Follow and win. Oh no, Q expired. Any more deaths in Fire Emblem? We, Charlotte died to a crit yesterday. Oh, that feels money. A few are so scared, level one. A few are beats are even level one. You cannot the light. I guess she was scared of the pantheon. That makes the most sense. I miss some EXP. Okay. Hey, got got the minion. That's money. I was counting her W cooldown. It was still like between like one and two seconds left. So I knew I could go in and just kill her. Kill her, make her miss EXP. And then I get the money I need. That's value. That was the most value suicidal move in my life. If she did have parry up, I would have thrown the game right there. But I was I was pretty confident in that. The 22 second Fiora cooldown. Because I, when I play Fiora, so many times I use my parry. And then like, at some point after a reasonable period of time, I'm like, there's no way like I don't have all my spells up. And then I don't have my parry up, I die. I bet that's the exact same thing that Fiora was thinking. Okay, we get a nice item lead. Oh crap, 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 crap. Oh man. Oh, Albert, you screwed up! You had it, and then you screwed it up! I'm out of here. Why buy three potions and not just a refillable? It's because I still had one potion left. Oh. Hey, ZL, Tarona, and Blitz. I love this matchup. It's always just like the better mechanical player wins. Barring like extreme jungle camp. Wow, she didn't parry? Okay, well I have ignite, so as long as I drop get the ignite, she could parry my ignite if she's careful. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna ignite first, and then um, if she parries that, then kill her. And if you if you don't stay, I'll just take a turret plate. Okay, she made the smart move. I just realized I, I win this fight.
Yo, what the heck? You think I wasn't gonna kill you there? I had Conquer, I had Ignite. I'll take it. I'm, I'm just surprised he thought he'd survive that. He was probably thinking like the moment she goes in, I'll, I'll E out. Like the only way he survives that is if he like buffers his E. So like right as I get the stun and take Tyrago, he jumps out. In which case I just like jump away. Those odds were not in his favor. Either he like gets my ult and ignite and I run away I gave it a 10% chance of him pulling that off. Or he uh, fails and then I get the blue buff for free. Well, then again, that is exactly the kind of fight that I would take. If there's a 5% chance of mechanically outplaying and, and winning, I take it. I do think that mentality eventually leads to you becoming a better player. Just because... As long as you, you correctly identify that it was a bad risk move, and try it anyway, like, that's fine. Because then... Then when it really counts, you only, like, I don't know, if you're in a tournament match, that's when you start only taking, like, the good risk moves. And because you've already, like, mastered the bad risk moves, like, you just, like, play the fights better in general. Oh, what the? Wow, that was actually quite a lot of damage. Oh, ah! I won't forget this. Oh, what the? How do you keep letting this happen, Albert? Two turret shots, are you kidding me? Alright, this is a good Spear of Shoujin game. Fiora is one of those matchups where you need to have a certain a minimum amount of damage to beat her. And Spear of Shoujin lets you have that all in damage. Turret aggro is so buggy. No, I think that was my fault. I think I walked in first before the minions. Okay, the cards are in my hand. I can carry this game. Just don't screw up mechanically like I did last game. I'm pretty sure this is where I kill her. Okay, that E right there is to condition her. That makes my next E, it makes her unlikely to react to my next one. Conditioning. Alright, that one is conditioning. It's to make her less likely to react to my next ult. No, that one was just a mis misplay. I admit it. It was a misplay. The first one was legitimate conditioning. Second one was fail. Okay. She's conditioning me. Oh, 
Oh, I missed. Oops. Okay, well, we, if neither of us have ults. I hate when that happens. My name covered the health bar, so I just have to guess when the cannon menu was gonna die. Oh. What? Okay. Dang it. I was hoping Pantheon would end up tanking it. But this is fine. That flash barely got me out of tower range in time. That's so scary. Are you giving me solo gold? Oh, you absolute babe. Oh no, it's split. Oh, really? I don't have enough for this? Wow, I'm actually surprised I didn't have enough for that. Sell boots? No, <laughs> I'm not selling my boots for that. They're not gonna fight me anyway. She knew because of the passive showing up on my character. If we both had vision of each other, a mark will appear on me. Okay, hey Zach. Thanks for the sub. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the box office. Let me help you out a bit. Actually, no, it's best for me to just keep bullying. Let my team stay there. Okay, now I, I think my build is actually go defensive. Spear, Shojin, and Conquer. That alone is like enough for me to 1v1 anyone. Now it's more about just don't get caught. So many pings. Okay. I'm pretty sure, judging from how she played, she's gonna panic parry when I go in. So I just go in. Oh, she didn't. Wow! I'm impressed! She didn't parry at all! I, I tried to scare her out of it three times! Damn! Alright. I had to give that to her. That I have to give her respect for that. That was well played. Oh wow. At first I was like, dude, you're making a mistake. But that actually ended up being really good. Hmm. Alright, I legitimately thought I conditioned that Fioro to like panic panic parry. That's some strong mental fortitude she had. How much gold did she get for killing me? 
750. That makes this next fight harder. Struck by luck. Thanks for the sub. I like that name. That's a cute name. I will not be Hi, I'm Vassy. She has Conquer up, I actually I don't win that. I will light the sky with my blade. I the Oh man. Dude, I fucking suck. And they got the Drake for that. I tried to bait her ult out and wait until I proc conquer before going in. No, I just didn't didn't even get away from her in time. I took so much damage by then. Damn it. Albert saying you're doing it again. You get the lead early game and then you fuck it up. But it's okay, this game's not over yet. I still have I still have chances to outplay if I play correctly. I want to catch the Syndra. What is the Syndra doing? Well, thank you. Check Discord. Okay. That was really good, Oriano. No! Okay, luckily the Fiora made as big of a misplay as I did. She, like, did not parry at all there. Aha! We conditioned her too hard. Nah, I'm not taking credit for that. I need this for death stance. There's no way she keeps pushing, right? Well, she does, I'm here. Oh my goodness. You actually stayed. Ah! I'm throwing, man. Second time you got me, where I'm thinking like, there's no way you do this, right? And then you did it.
I'm really glad no one's flaming me for that. That's, that's stuff that I fully expect to get flamed for. That's like very bad play for me. We're in a position where like all I have to do is not throw and we win, and I'm throwing. Well, that's like the one thing that couldn't happen. I don't know if we can do this. Okay. 
that which must be done. not forgive. That probably wasn't worth my flesh. Okay, sorry, I had to shut up there and focus. I was I was hella throwing by by making all these mechanical misplays. I almost threw the whole game. If I didn't win that 1v1 against Fiora under that like she like misplayed that, I didn't even outplay her, she just like took Karagra, didn't notice. If I didn't win that, we would have lost the game. <laughs> 